We're the Bucket List family. Garrett, Jessica, Dorothy, Manila, and Callahan. A few years ago, we sold everything to travel the world. And now we're setting out on our biggest adventure yet. Home. home. While we're out gathering inspiration in amazing countries each week, our at-home experts, Andy and Candace, Hi. will remodel our new home. Not our house yet. In real time. Room by room. We'll need your help too. You decide what we experience in each country. We're asking you to help us plot our course live. This is your invitation to join us on this journey is home with you. in Traveling, Traveling Home. home. <laughs> I feel like you're off key. I'm not singing it. Brought to you by Traveling Home. Okay guys, this week we're in Tanzania. Well, we're not in Tanzania. We're in Hawaii. Our minds are in Tanzania. Yeah. A guest suite is really important to the G's because they love travel, their friends love travel, and they want people to be able to come to Hawaii and have their home as a base to have their own adventures yeah. with their family. Absolutely. When we started here, it had like this weird kitchenette. It didn't really fit with the rest of the house. It was kind of an afterthought. Basically, the demo in this room consisted of clearing out that old kitchenette and replacing some aging and damaged wood. Yeah, pretty straightforward. And now we have a beautiful space to work with, and it's time to get started with the fun stuff, which is putting the room back together and figuring out exactly how we want this space to feel for the guests. Hello from Tanzania. So we flew in to the Serengeti. We're in the Serengeti. It was the coolest plane. It just lands like right in the Serengeti on a little dirt runway. We did a safari once last year in South Africa and it was hands down my favorite thing that I've done in all of our travels. So I was so excited to be here and do it again. We love the nature here. We love the wildlife. It's just incredible. Totally. You see a lot of zebra and a lot of giraffes, but no matter, I think they're my favorite because like the pattern and the contrast with nature behind them, especially when you see like the giraffe towering above the trees and the bushes. It was stunning to see all of Gosh. the gorgeous lions and you could just look at these lions for hours. The Maasai people are some of the last nomadic people on the planet, which means they live somewhere and then when that grass is gone or the water in that area is gone, they will up and move. Wait, sounds a little bit like us. Their cows are essentially their bank account. It's their livelihood. Everything about them is these cows. I mean, it shows in their house. Okay, you go into their house and there's- Wait, no, no, no. what's it made of? The entire house is made of cow dung. Poop. Okay, and like, what is that? Is that? Please don't make our house like the Maasai. I milked a cow, babe. So I milk cows now. Turns out I'm a milkmaid like the Maasai women. And these Maasai people were very happy. And they're all about family and nature and very, very kind and welcoming to our random little family who just showed up one day. They are as different from us as you could get, but they didn't mind and they welcomed us into their village, taught us their ways, and we loved it. All of the ladies had set out things that they had made with their hands, all these like handicrafts. So me and Dorothy go pick out these wooden masks that kind of resemble some of the animals that we've seen here in Tanzania. I loved it because it was animals that we had seen here in Tanzania made by the people of Tanzania. All right, so guest room, Tanzania. What are some things that you want for our guest room? Guest room, I just want something cozy. When we arrived to the lodge here in Tanzania. Oh, just the coziest, right? Cozy. Like yeah. I, I felt at home. And there have been certain places we've stayed along our travels where you walk in, you're just and like... And just immediately, you feel like you never want to leave. Yeah. And then it hit me. Soon, for our first time ever as a family, we're going to have a place that we will go and it'll no, be home it's forever, still, right? It still hasn't hit me. Oh, I'm so excited. I want to have surfboards and wetsuits and snorkel gear so that when people come to our house, like they're not just staying with us, but they're adventuring with us and they're part of our family. Yeah. Andy and Candice, we had a really good idea. We have gotten some killer Shots. I'm and not a professional scared. photographer, but it's pretty easy when you're in a place that's this epic and this beautiful. So, and it's my house, so if I want to hang up photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. There's some specific photos that were groups of animals, and I thought that was cool because it kind of represents our guest room where people come in and we hang out together yeah, and they are part together. of our family. So here's a few photos that I hope can be framed 
and be part of our guest room. So Garrett and Jess, I can promise you that I will not be inspired by the cow dung houses. I will be I'm inspired. inspired. I'm inspired by it. I just don't know if we'll put it into this house. So I'm going to take inspiration from the grasslands. I have in mind this beautiful grass cloth, but in Hawaii we have to be careful because grass cloth can mold. So I'm looking for a vinyl grass cloth so that it looks like it. And has durability and longevity. Yeah, yeah. We've got John making this amazing platform. That's where the reading nook is going to happen. And it's just this old closet that didn't really have a lot of purpose. And since this is a guest room, we don't need a ton of storage. It's perfect. We have somewhere for them to slide their suitcases underneath. But then we're taking advantage of the rest of that hanging space by putting this amazing nook in there. Yeah. Plenty <laughs> strong. OK, guys, I'm so inspired by Tanzania and the Maasai people and how they live nomadically on the plains. I really want to incorporate that feeling into the guest room. So I'm on Wayfair and I've got my kind of style board started and I have just thrown everything at this board. So I have this amazing dresser, really excited about that. This trunk is gonna be one of the show pieces of the room. I'm super, super pumped about that. This amazing bed, I think it kind of has that great old world feel. And then, of course, some pillows. Those will look great. But the thing I am most excited about, we're doing wallpaper in this room. And I wanted to find a grass cloth that could be washable, that wouldn't mold here in Hawaii. And I found the most perfect vinyl grass cloth. It's gold. It has a little bit of like a gold shimmer in it. And then to match it, I found this beautiful embossed gold on top of black. Beautiful paper for the nook. So much is happening at the house right now. We have the wallpaper going in, which if you know anything about wallpaper, if you've ever seen it installed, it is mesmerizing and it transforms a room like, like that. Quick, I think it's the quickest way to make a huge difference. Yeah. Paint and wallpaper. I yeah. think wallpaper even more so. Yeah. It's not only color, but you're adding like texture and shape and all of that. And although we could do wallpaper ourselves, it's not something I enjoy doing. So no. we brought Frazier in. This is Frazier, everyone. Frazier is a master wallpaper. He's a pro. And he, he enjoys doing yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> and, and he loves the transformation of it too. Yeah. And he's very passionate about his craft. That has been really fun, working with people here who are very passionate about what they do. We also had a door custom made for this room that really ties it into the rest of the house. Yeah, so it's a new door that looks old. We were able to use some of the old hardware from the pocket doors that can't have the hardware anymore. And now it looks like it's always been here. So one of the things the G's told us was really important to them was the ability to have friends and family come visit the house, even if they're out traveling the world. So let me show you something cool about their Vivint Smart Home. Not only do they have this doorbell camera where they can see and speak to anybody at their door, no matter where they are in the world, but they can also let them right into the house from their app. They also have a smart lock where they're able to program individual codes for their different guests so they know who exactly who's opening the door and when they get here. That's not the real code. So what's been fun for us is to watch the contractors through this doorbell camera come to the house to work and we know which ones cannot remember their individual codes and it's funny to see their failed attempts but we can always open the app and let them in ourselves. While we've been here in Hawaii working on the show, we've actually had to use our same doorbell camera at home quite a bit. We had to have our producer go to our house and ship us a battery that we of course forgot when we packed. But we were able to see her go up to the house and open the door and let her in, make sure she got everything okay and actually talk to her on the way out. So it's a really cool feature. We're so excited for the G's to have it. This week, you guys have the choice between seeing the G's learn a traditional Maasai dance yep or a song. Yeah, we put the vote up a couple days ago and it was pretty overwhelming. You all wanted to see. I, dance was running away with it. Yeah, well, I don't, we counted. I think we officially counted, but dance was like above and beyond. Yeah, all right. Hey guys. Hi guys. How's it going? It's a dance. dance. It was a landslide, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. I, can't I believe see it, the I'm things, excited. <laughs> I can't believe the things they get to experience and the things our kids get to experience. That is really, really cool. So we are really tired back here. We have been working really hard, but I have to say, Garrett and Jess out traveling with their kids and filming for the show, like that and is- And filming an, for their vlog. I mean, they're doing they a lot of work. They are working so hard. So yes, we're tired, but we know you're tired. In the end, all that matters is that you get a beautiful house with beautiful <laughs> experiences to remember it by. So yeah. 
And, and what do they say? Adult, adulthood is just basically um, comparing with other adults to see who's the most tired. So yeah, we, we're all there. We, we all win, all winners. <laughs> you guys so deep on this episode. I know, what's wrong with me? A lot of philosophy. Yeah. Thank you for your vote. You voted for us to learn a dance from these wonderful people. But this is what happened. We were going to join in the dance, and then they started singing, and then they're dancing and singing, and we just, so we did, we did it all. We did <laughs> but it was actually really, really cool. Like, they had, like, the beatboxer man who was like... Right. And then the girls who were kind of, like, chanting and singing, and they, like, had this... It was so cute. Manila goes with Garrett because the men, they jump. And the higher you jump, the more appealing you are to women. Ladies. So, you know, <laughs> Garrett goes over and starts jumping with them. It's just like, you know. Oh, they got the hops. Yeah. All I want to do is like, look at it, look at it, look at it. We're in the room, the wallpaper is finished, and I just wish that you could all be in here with me going like this. Is that weird? I don't know if that's weird. It's just so pretty and it adds so much texture and it makes this room feel alive. But let me show you my most favorite part. Come with me to my nook. I had John build this platform. It's really cool, really sturdy, as we all know. And I had him put this really cool old piece of lumber on the front. So we're trying to use as much of the old stuff that we pulled out as possible. So this little closet is gonna be a perfect little escape. I'm gonna put tons of pillows in here, a fun light. I really love this wallpaper. I don't know if I've said it enough, but I really love it. Good job. Th thank you. Nice. Good job, Frazier. Oh, high five you, Frazier. Okay, Garrett and Jess, I really think you're gonna love this room. It's time to start putting it back together. I'm not stressed at all. No, why would we be? We have just zero time to get this done and filmed. <laughs> it's fine. We're really excited because Garrett sent back some images that he has taken on his safari. Yeah. He went like full African photographer, like documentary. They're amazing. And I'm very impressed with his skills. And we are going to get those framed and hung on the wall. Yeah. And he's gonna love it, I hope. Oh, I hope so. He took them. He better like them. <laughs> We're also going to be getting some fun things for the guest room, like little toiletries, the sunscreen, sun hats, yeah. stuff that their guests can use. We're bringing in this beautiful bed. We've got great bedspreads, lots of pillows, lots of pillows for the nook. You guys want to see something fun? Okay, Google, lock my front door. Sure, locking the front door lock. <laughs> and we still need to hang that light in the nook, the reading oh, light. Oh, we got to hang that light. We gotta, I'm just gonna snap my fingers and it'll be hung. Ding! Did it work? Andy, Candice, we hope you're doing well on that end. We're kind of exhausted on our end. We're go, go, go this week. Yeah, we're really tired. Okay, and I think one of the first things we'll do when we have guests come to our house is go get an acai bowl. So Andy and Candice, go take a little break and go get an acai bowl for us. And the sun is actually almost about to go down, which means we're going to be inside because all the lions are going to come out. Right. Up. Yeah, P.S. This could account for some really interesting... Oh. All of a sudden, a rhino just... Vroom. I know we say it every week, but we really mean it. This is one of our favorite rooms we've ever done. Even though it has really low ceilings and it's kind of a small room, it packs so much of a punch. When we first started, it was just... It felt dark. It felt cramped and it had that old kind of kitchenette it in it. It felt like a kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it, it's not even a good kitchen, guys. But now it's so beautiful and it reminds us of Tanzania, of course, and everything that the G family is experiencing over there. It's really cool to have that encompassed in one space. It's the kind of room someone would expect to stay in if they were coming to stay with the Gs. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's very like safari, explorer. Yeah. All the things that Garrett really wanted in this house, it kind of comes to life in this room. Yeah, and Jessica's not quite as particular as Garrett is, by the way, but I think that even she would put her stamp of approval. 
I hope so. I hope so. We'll find out. I mean, we'll volunteer as tribute. We'll be the first yeah. guest Guys, to come stay here. We could be the We're first guest. We're willing to do that it's for fun. you, just because that's the kind of friends we are. I think the biggest impact in this room was definitely the wallpaper. I think it was really smart of you to use two different wallpapers to separate the areas. Yeah, I got both of these papers on Wayfair. Super easy to find. I think I searched like modern geometric black gold or something and that's how I found that paper and that's exactly what it is and it's beautiful. It's a good way to describe it and even the pattern calls back to some African art yeah. and I know a lot of the shields that we looked at with the paintings on them. Yeah. You get that diamond pattern so it really, it's kind of a subtle yeah. inspiration from Africa but it definitely has that feeling yeah. and it still feels old and historic especially with that old door, door we had made and the hardware. It feels like like a safari back in the day and I think that's the feeling we were going for. Well, I was room. definitely hoping for that feeling especially with that side table that is a beautiful antique reproduction made into a nightstand and it is maybe my favorite piece in the room. Everything's my favorite. And the dresser. But I love I mean, that. Everything yeah. in that room is so cool. Yeah the dresser is nice. We've got the drawer filled with all of the things that their guests are going to need. So we've got shampoo, conditioner, sunscreen, just anything that you can think of. That if you're a guest coming to stay with the G's, you're like, oh, this is so thoughtful. And I know the G's are going to fill it with like yeah. all the fun adventure gear that we quite honestly know nothing about. We need to be more adventurous. Yeah, we do. We do. This counts, right? Oh, absolutely. Adventures <laughs> in home, well, home doing. Yeah. I love how this bed came out. I wanted something, again, that kind of looked colonial, like that yeah. kind of traditional look. And this is a beautiful headboard and it matches perfectly with the grass cloth. It looks really nice. Of course, Garrett took these photos. Awesome. They're beautiful. I'm so impressed. I love how the black and white plays off of the grass cloth. Yeah. I think it looks so nice and modern. The room still feels old, historic in a good way. And then we have these pops of modern and it looks fantastic. Yeah, it's a great combo. I think they'll be really happy with it. We've used this antique rug. Love antique rugs. I don't think that Big I have surprise. to say that. Shocker. <laughs> but it looks great in this space. We've layered it. It looks amazing against the wood floor, which is not wood, by the way. It's tile. Flood warning. They're, you know, they live on the ocean. You could put your suitcases under that little nook thing, too. Just slide it under on the tile yep. floor. My little reading nook. That nook's amazing. I mean, I don't know. I, I already need a want nook. It. I know I think during this next week of filming, if I have a break, I'm just going to go sit in the nook and read. If so if we can't find Andy, he's in the nook. I'm in the nook. We have just these natural element window treatments. They kind of look Hawaiian, but also look really good in an African themed room. I really love how those came out. Yeah. Overall, I am so happy with how this room turned out. I think it's just themed enough, not too crazy. No, this room is definitely a little themed. It's inspired to the next level above yeah. the other rooms, but we love it. It's a great feel. It's what they wanted. And I, good job. I think they're going to be happy. High five. High five. Thank you so much for watching this week. The guest room was kind of tricky. I was worried about it, to be honest, but it turned out so fun, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. We hope this space feels welcoming for all of the G's guests. We hope that they're excited to come stay with them, even when the G's are traveling far away. They can still get in with their smart lock, come downstairs, and feel right at home. And a very special thanks to our sponsor, Vivid Smart Home, for making this whole show possible. Without them, we wouldn't be able to show you these amazing rooms in this amazing house. So please, if you haven't already, call them, get a quote to find out how easy and affordable it is to get your own safe and smart home. We have it at our house. We love it. Everyone needs it. Everybody so needs easy. it. Yeah. Okay, guys, we'll see you next week in Kenya. Kids room. I'm so excited. And our kids are coming.